Yeah, we take we take this trait, one hundred percent. Oh no, my moon that was on ten health, he's gone. Hey guys, welcome to Deep's TCG. I'm Dylan, and today we're taking a look at Roaring Moon EX. We've taken a look at this deck before, but we're taking a look at it now again because of Shroud of Fable just coming out, adding some new additions to this deck. Um, as well as it just placed second at Worlds, which is huge. Uh, I think everybody was re expecting Reggie Drago to run away with it, but it actually kind of didn't didn't make top two, so in a little bit of an upset. So we're taking a look at this today. Um, so new additions to it. I won't go too deep into the deck just because we've looked at it before, uh, but new additions are going to be Petrarun, which essentially allows you to switch uh, really easily for free. Well, not for free, you get poison, but oh no. Uh, and then we have Pheasantipity EX, which allows you to draw three more cards when you get knocked out there. So those are the main things. We do run a mini moon in this, as well as two Squawkabilly. This is exactly the second list, uh, second place list deck, so you can take a look at that. Um, in terms of trainers, pretty standard. Uh, Sada's the one we're going for, Judge for Disruption, Boss for Boss. Um, Dark Patch, Earthen Vessel, yeah, you get it. Uh, the new addition is Night Stretcher, um, basically allowing us to get another Roaring Moon back into circulation there. Uh, or an energy if we need it, that's pretty rare though. Uh, and then our, our A spec is Prime Catcher, of course. Um, so if you want this li it list, it is the second place one, so it's on Limitless, super easy. We'll probably link it in the descri description below. So without further ado, let's go get into some games. What we like to see like it when first. Don't like that. Would have been a baller hand too. Well, it would have been. It would have been alright. This is significantly worse. Alright. It's all. It's not bad. We need an aspect. Well, he could be that guy. He started a buddy buddy popping though. Sorry. Pokemon catcher looking mad spicy right now. Wow, this is not been going good so far. Uh, I looked in the bench out second pressure and I should have just let it die. Okay, look at that. Oh, oh. We'll just go on the guy. Sealed. Oh, that's pretty good. Anything we can get that would help us. Squat. Or I eat that or dog. Would be pretty sick if he only is able to get the pigeon out though. Mm. 
any end. All right. I like seeing that on the bench. Grab an Iono or an Arc. Let's see. What are you doing? Okay. I gotta knock it out. If you're gonna bless your wind, I will take that trade any day. Yeah, if you're gonna do this, I will take that trade every day. Well, I guess you probably don't. Don't attach, I guess. You're not knocking me out. I'll take this trade too. This is a great trade for me. Especially when you don't set up another Charmander. This is a great trade for me. I'm super, super happy for that. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take a Sada. Without a doubt, we'll take a Sada. So, um, yeah, there we go. Um, let's just Shall receive. Dark patch down here. Okay. That's how we get the other one done. Okay, dark patch again. Pretty here. Feel probably better doing this, actually. Yeah. And Will Fringy gouging for sure. Yeah, why not? That feels like a pretty good trade in my eyes. Even if he does knock this out, you can always... Got another guy. I'm pretty fine with that, believe me. Oh no! Grab. I guess he can't even accelerate enough. I, uh, maybe he plays a DT. It's possible I've seen it with the Rads or before. There was a lot of it at Worlds, actually. If he plays a DT, it's fine. Buddy Buddy is funny. I will take this trade, though. Without a doubt. If he, if he isn't able to this out. Hundred percent I'm taking them. Out of doubt. How many things I got to to do it with. Um should we set anything up? Can we set anything? What are we gonna set up? I guess we can. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we take we take this trade 100 percent 
Oh no, my moon that was on 10 health. He's gone. And now I'm one knockout away from winning with a prime catcher in hand. I guess it could be a shout. If he Iono's me, I'm in a tough spot. I need the counter catcher and Iono me. I need a bad idea of Poke stop, so. Hundred percent go over that Luminian every day. No, I am. No, I am. Oh. <laughs> need the I'm not killing myself with this just do that and just frenzy gouging for knockout I didn't even need the prime catcher for the Luminion I just take out the Zards <laughs> what a game Zard is no more easiest let's go Let's go. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ed, so he's gonna choose. Hopefully he's the deck that wants to go first, because we do like going second. Nice, it's good, it's good. It's what we wanna see, what we wanna see. Okay, so we're gonna do this guy up. Just because it's a little easier for us to accelerate to our bench. Got those cobalt sleeves. Those are good. I like it. Zard? Dragapult, probably. Dragapult, probably. We'll see what happens, though. Everything's got to Okay, we'll see right away. What is this? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. That's not a huge deal for us because the spread doesn't help a whole lot because we don't really run many single prizers. Other than this guy I've got up right now, but that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, if we can sod it to this move, that would be sick. Take out Pidgey. Right, because we don't have. We don't have a Greninja play, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So, we're kind of freaking Vengeance Fletching. That's pretty sick. Treat it. I like this art for this dust skull so much, it's so funny. Okay, let's see. So we'll try to shoes to start things. Uh oh, I hate that. That's gone. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Uh we do want Take this for now. Just do a little digging. Sucks to throw away the prime catcher early. Like this Pidgey up here. Or I like the moon up here really more than anything. And maybe I will hit the catcher, see if I can get the 
victory. Don't like it. I'm just gonna squat and seize it away. Probably better this way. I should have. I should have saved the attach from hand. You have both energies in there yet. The Fez and Dippity out. Uh, we'll hit the focus stop button. Why not? Take that. Yeah. Whatever. Little dark patch to here. Dark patch again. Nice. Okay. Do you want to get anything else out? Yeah, we, we might as well actually get the the other wound. It's gonna give us a patcher run, which sucks, but. I assume he's gonna be taking something eventually. Yeah, then we'll just. Vengeance. And we'll save the Poke Gear just so we see one more card. We may have overbenched here, but I don't mind against this just because it's. Really, not much that's a target for his Dragapult. Especially if he does that, holy. Still got the boss in deck, so. Can't always hit that, but. Hate having the Grand Catcher down there. Hate it so much. We can still take it out with the moon. If we, I think if we take it out with the moon, we're pretty good. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like that for him. He's in a rough spot, it feels. Probably will scoop if we take out his track book there. I wouldn't be surprised if it's coming anyways, to be honest. Hitting that button as a deck that doesn't play Pokestop is never a good idea. Almost never works. I guess he's going for the Pidgeot. And I guess he might as well. Oh? For what? It's 12? Oh, it is 13, so he can take out the Greninja, I guess, if he wants it. Sure. I don't know why you would do that, though. It just gives me more cards with Pheasantipity. I believe? How does this work? Yeah. Just gives me more Pheasantipity next turn. We're even on prize trades. Well, actually, I'm still ahead on prize trade, but now my numbers are better. Um, and now you just gotta put up something that you want to. that you don't want knocked out. I guess maybe put up the Rotom? None of this feels like a good idea, though. That doesn't feel like a good idea. I guess his turn's not over, so he's gotta finish it off here. Sure. That was during last turn, though. Well, that's not gonna work for you. Well, I guess I took a knockout last turn. Sure. Why not? I feel as though this was not a well made decision. For Lumina. 
Okay. It's a weird inclusion. I guess it makes sense for... I guess. But I would have 100% grabbed another Dreepy. Maybe that's what he's going for now. This is a long turn this guy's making, to be honest. I actually kind of like that he took down the Greninja because now I can bench a Petra run. What is this guy doing? You, man, if you were going for the rare candy play, that's one thing, but this is anything but that. Oh, no, there it is. It's funny. Uh, okay. There. I feel it's probably best just to hit that. Because really, he can't do much damage to me if he's not hitting for... Okay, I'm just... Ow. Now that I have the free switch, I don't really have to worry too much about him boss stalling me. Yeah, that's not great, is it? I think I just hit and hit and hit. <laughs> I think I still have some Pokemon catchers too. Wait, what, did he, what did he say? Yeah, I got a couple. So, that's a shout. Yeah, Duskmar was a terrible play. I would not have used my rare candy on that. I would have gotten the Pidgeot, a Pidgeot out for sure. For sure. Don't do that. What this guy did. That was a terrible play. It's like something about playing cards that advance your board state versus not. I didn't really expect to be using this Roaring Moon, this Mini Moon, so early. There it is! Yeah, that would have been a better play a while ago. Also, do you only play one Dreepy? If they're all prized, that'd be really funny. I wonder. Too bad PTCG. Oh yeah, there it is. I figured after the boss that was it. But yeah, I figured. <laughs> Fantastic though. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to get subscribed. We're really close to 500 and we'd love to see we'd love to see that happen. Um, so and thanks so far for subscribing. It means a lot to us. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna do some uh, Stellar Crown previews right away that's coming down the road because the set looks awesome we're super excited for it um 
yeah so stay tuned for those and as always thanks for watching bye